Hey there, welcome back to Stormgate. I've been playing a solid chunk of this game. I've been having a good time with it for the most part. I've hit a little bit of a plateau in my rank grinding where I can get my wins close to my losses, but I can't quite overcome my losses and, you know, get pull ahead of them. Even though I've had people just straight up leave like 10 times. Like people just leave, the, like I scout them and people will just leave the game. It's wild. I've been having a few different problems as far as my plateau here goes, where I need to, at least what I'm assuming I need to be doing, is I need to be getting my early units onto the map so that I can take those camps for bonus resources. And I need to be doing something to stop or slow down my opponent in the early game. Like the early to mid game. Because other than that, when I do get into the late game, I usually have enough production online and I've got, like, enough buildings to make whatever armies I need. The issue is that I don't know what army compositions beat what or, like, what I need to be using more of or what I need to be using less of. And like, basically just late game army compositions and fighting in general has been something of a struggle for me. I've got some ideas of what I need to be doing instead of what I am doing, but I'll have to uh, see how effective I am in game. So, you know, thank you for joining me. And without, uh, without saying anything else, let's get into this. Let's get into my first game here. So I found my first match up against Dr. Frag, a fellow Vanguard player. Vanguard mirror matchups, I don't feel like have been going very well for me. I've had like a couple wins, but it's mostly off of the back of like what I feel like is my opponent also not knowing what to do because they'll like attack my ramp and I'll just overwhelm them with whatever army I had that survived. And I don't feel like that is a lasting strategy. So I'll have to figure out what my opponent's getting up to here. He's got a barracks online. He hasn't started scouting yet. I don't know if he's like going to at all. I say yet. Get my second base online here soon. Get that base built up. Make sure I'm still keeping up probe production. I can go scout again. I don't have anything else to do and my cooldown's almost off. Biolab. So he's going like straight into the uh, early excess. Because of that, he should have units online a little bit faster than I do. Um, I've been like full blocking my ramp. I guess I'll try to do it at the bottom of this game, although I don't think that's the best idea. I've been trying to mess around to see what I can do with my early build order to like maybe make it better or more offensive or like some way to... Um, follow up on the fast expansion. At your disposal. Wonderful. I know I can get two workers on my Ethereum, and then about by the time I need them, I have uh Waiting further instructions. It's going up. About by the time I end up needing those workers, I'll usually have Or no, I I'm trying to describe this. Somebody built dogs against me earlier, and it ended up being like a pretty effective like early harass tool. So I figure I can use dogs so that I have more early luminite. I thought that was a good idea. I liked what they were doing. I'm here to assist. And I can keep my probe production up. I'm getting pretty close to supply capping myself again though, and I need a bio lab. Thank you. 
build another barracks over here. I'll go check it out. I don't know what their plan here is in the background. Okay, they're going heavy into gas and just sitting on one base. So this, I, I definitely need defenses here. I'll build one more dog so that I can try to harass if he does make another base, but I might not be able to stop whatever he's doing here otherwise. Unless I get that bio lab online pretty soon. I'll build another barracks because I'm a little too heavy on the Luminite right now. Dogs aren't super good at clearing these creep camps out. I found they get, like, really blocked, so I don't even think I'm going to worry about that. As much as it probably would be pretty good to do. And I can start building these guys, and I can get the XO upgrade. Keep my production up. Basically, I just need my scouts here to see if I can do anything, like... Can I pick this? No, they don't do nearly enough damage, and I'm like running into his wall. He can try to run it down. Insufficient theory. Build another one, put this guy in the background. Now I've got him defending with a gun. Insufficient theorem. Make sure I'm still building these and get both of my or my other barracks onto a lancer so that I'm keeping up unit production. I have enough units here, though, that I should probably just send these guys to build another base. Let's keep up my supply advantage, because I know he's sitting on one base still. Research complete. My base is going up pretty quickly. I think I have enough Luminite in general right now, so I probably start getting uh, probably start getting those workers onto Ethereum. Get two more gunners building. I think three can clear the health camp decently easily. Uh, I'm going to get the high command upgrade. Our forces are under attack. Uh, so I broke the cars, and he's building a second base on my low ground there? That's kind of fucking rude. I should send units down to go try to deal with that. Trying to steal my gold base it seems kind of fucked up. Kill the worker. Let's destroy the base. Doesn't look like he started anything on his other side bases, so he was just trying to steal my base behind that, and then, like, I don't know, try to do something. Uh, I need a machine lab, and I need... He's got, like, a lot of ground forces. Capture point secured. That's what I get for not having my door blocked. That was just kind of bad luck on my part. I took a lot of economy damage I didn't need to. But I've got three bases, so hopefully that shouldn't be too big of a problem. Insufficient supply. Supply blocking myself again. Just buff my base here. Scout up, see what he's building. I have dogs out there to, like, 
double check that for me, but I don't really want to lose any of them right now. Yeah, he's got his other gold base building. I need to just get on the map, honestly. I need to go deal with that. That's what I think I need to do. Just try to attack. Because if he lost those cars, he should be hurting at least a little bit. And I can build my own double gold. I think I've stopped both of his attempts at building a second base. I can try to put these units like up the ramp a little bit to contain him a little bit more. Just start sending my stuff across the map behind my production. This feels like a really good position for me, but I might fuck it up. I accidentally built two of these. That seemed unnecessary. Can I go up his ramp at all? Probably not. It's probably too dangerous. Alright, so I did a decent amount of damage to him there. Not enough, though. Yeah, I couldn't stop him there. Uh, so I've got three barracks and two airports. It didn't look like he had great anti-air defense, or like that he was even really trying to, so I guess I can try to get my uh, airports working a little harder. Make sure I keep my units on the map over here. I'm trying to kind of overproduce from too many different angles here, and I'm kind of getting distracted because of it. Research complete. I can kind of keep track of his gold base there if I do that. Yeah, so he's rebuilt his gold. Uh, I think when I have, like, six planes, that should be good for harass. Upgrade complete. I need more luminite production in general. Looks like he's starting to build some units, like, up top. He hasn't taken anything other than the double gold, though. So if I can do something to stop that from building, I'm in a really good spot, sitting pretty. Uh, I thought I'd built... I think I thought I was building a, like, machine lab or something. This should be good harassment. Make sure to keep harassing him. Our forces are under attack. 
My dog got spotted. He's trying to build a base over here now. Research complete. <laughs> he called me. Did he say hack? Did he think I was cheating? I mean, hey, I'll take it. That's a really good first game. Get rid of the cars so they don't start shooting up too fast. Get on the exos, shield one of my planes. Just run them down. I mean, what can he do? Also, my whole army is right here. I'm like ready to mark up his ramp and he left there. So this was just like a, a good job, like going through or trying to stick to my new plan of like trying to actually have some early aggression. Although... I feel like that was mostly just a win that was gifted to me off the back of uh, that guy doing some questionable things macro-wise. Honestly, it's mostly just a win off the back of the info my dogs gave me. I'll play one more game here. See how well it goes. Oh, I found a game right away. Like, instantly. I clicked the button, game found. It's good to see. Disguised Gishu, the Infernal player. Infernal's historically been a good matchup for me, but it really depends on the player I've found. There's like two very different ways these matchups can go. Isle of Dread. I think this is the uh, like Sandy map. Yeah, I like this one. I like the vibes. Although I find it harder to defend on. Maybe I don't have to worry as much about choke points until I get, like, actual, like, I can start building into it later, right? Find the natural base is usually easier to uh It's usually easier to defend, and it takes a while to get both of those gold nodes online anyways, so I don't think they're that important to just have. 
Our forces are under attack. I didn't get a good look at what he had. He's building, like, he's definitely going for a more aggressive unit type build. I'm just going to build my barracks here. I'm not going to worry too much about choking things up as much as just like, I can just build a turret close to my base. Why are these still constructing? That's a good question. I want to have my units probably closer to the front line than what I've got, but a lot I can do about it from here. Yeah, so he's already got a butcher built up. I need to have like some units online as fast as I can. These guys can always fall back, but I don't want to give up this base for any, like, for no reason. Build the bio lab. Start making dogs. There's just too many choke points. I got a block here, but they can still run around up top, and they can just run into my main. So I need to, uh... Okay, so he does have a second base building here. I'm gonna build a second barracks because I'm already starting to fall a little bit behind, like Luminite wise. Ready to work. Uh, I'm getting close to supply blocking myself. Build the first Lancer, get the upgrade online as soon as I can. Get the exo upgrade so they can kite. Two Lancers, so I've got some bodies on there. Pretty close to max production on two bases. I can probably make a third at the double gold, but this seems a bit riskier. Looks like he's fucking with a creep camp right now, but I might be wrong about that. I don't think he's any there's anywhere he can creep out without me spotting him. Uh, two more Exos building. I'll have to defend a little bit more actively with my army here. If I want to have any success. Like, if I don't want him to just roll over me, but... Got to take a little bit of a risk here. Research complete. Honestly, I could build a third barracks off the back of what I'm already doing. I could go take a third base as well. Like an extra... Or a fourth base, I should say. Reporting for work. Robot engaged. Insufficient supply. Oh, I supply blocked myself again. My production seems really fast this game, but that won't matter if I keep supply blocking myself. Insufficient supply. Invalid. It's gonna get two just because I feel like that's gonna happen pretty quickly with how much unit production I have. He's decently on the map here. Like he's already at his vision camp, fucking with it. I need to just get my units like more close to the front line and the choke here. Or I'm probably gonna get fucked. Start upgrading to the high command. And build three more lancers. This is a bit risky to have that gold base so far up, but I mean, hey. 
No risk, no reward, right? Upgrade. Ethereum production seems like it's keeping up at the moment, but I'll have to see how long that lasts. Uh, I'm slowly starting to outpace my, like... I'm still not outpacing my Luminite. I've already got four bases mining right now. That's not normal for what I pull off in these games typically. I feel like I need to get cars on or uh, planes online as soon as I can. Probably want to have this move of speed camp taken. I kind of abandoned my early plan of uh, like being aggressive with the dogs, but that's not the end of the world on this map, I don't think. Getting the max pretty quickly. I feel like it's unlikely that this dude's uh, like matching my production here. I would have seen him move out to one of these bases, no? Our forces are on capture point secured. Oh, it doesn't look like he's doing anything. He's just sitting on the two base. I guess I'll just like build more units. But this is a pretty big ball. I want to fuck with him a little bit. Our forces are under attack. I'll uh, send these guys across the map for reinforce, but I should be able to just take this hole for space now. And I win another game. I just gotta actually be, like, a little bit aggressive early, especially if I feel like my production's on point. You know, I was talking about needing to use my army a bit earlier to actually try to do something. And, uh, I feel like I pulled that off here. I think having the dogs, I think, are a big part of this. Knowing if my, like, what my opponent is doing, like, in a lot of my games, I've been very blind, especially after I, like, inevitably fuck up and let my first scout die. 
so having knowledge of what my opponent's doing and what they're getting up to and like what bases they've taken and what they're mining is super impactful. It lets me actually make attempts at controlling the game without feeling like too scared by just pulling up imaginary army numbers in my head. This guy looks like he tried to invest really heavily in those, like, stampede units. Which, they're very tanky, but they're also very kiteable in, like, I mean, you saw me do it. Another big part of it might have been that I wasn't as worried about clogging up my ramps this time. I was just like, alright, I'll just try to build, like, an army. But I feel like that could have gone very poorly for me, because he could have units hitting my base probably pretty soon. And I don't know what I would have been able to do to stop it. Especially considering I know that he built this iron, this iron vault first. Yeah, I managed to kite out all his guys and then just walk his base down. There's nothing he can do. That's his entire army. That's the power of scouting information in the early game. I just assume that my opponents are matching me, like, beat for beat, and that uh, nothing I do is going to be able to stop them. And so far, the scouts have told me that I'm wrong. I have a bigger army. I should use it. Anyway, thank you for joining me for some more Stormgate. Drop a like on the video if you stuck around this long, or just if you're liking Stormgate in general yourself. I've been uh, slightly obsessed with this game recently, having a good time. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more Stormgate, or just whatever else I feel like uploading. For the last week, it's been just Stormgate, and that's because every time I go to edit something else, I'm like, yeah, but what if I play, like, another Stormgate game real quick? Oh, or I think, like, oh, but what about, what if I just play, like, a bot game real quick, just to see if I can, like, nail this build order down a little bit more. So, <laughs> it's been kind of eating into my upload schedule. Anyways, I won't uh, keep you any longer. Have a lovely morning, noon, or night, and peace.